Hey, it's time for trend reversal swing trading ideas again. I'm Jukka from Option Investors Club and on this video, just like every morning, pretty much I'm going to go through the US markets and US sectors as well as a few key cryptocurrencies, namely Bitcoin and Ethereum charts. On the left, you've got the weekly charts. On the right, you've got the daily charts. And at the top of the screen, funny enough, they're in an inverse order going to switch that like so there's a reversal catcher system okay so volatility creeping up from this bottom here which is pretty normal there are some news about the the u.s debt and that sort of ceilings bearish for the markets unless uh, until that's kind of the situation is cleared out from the technical analysis perspective bumping against resistance here on S&P 500 uh, monthly momentum sorry weekly momentum heading lower since last week now and the daily momentum heading lower as well price not really falling yet slightly slightly red morning but if you look at it at the chart has it really fallen well no it has not so let's see what happens Nasdaq even more bullish looking charts even though there's a bearish warning color now on the weekly the daily just broke out to a new bullish wave and the formation here is looking pretty hot to the upside let's see what happens usually the weekly charts dominate over the daily charts but a few days here and here or there doesn't kind of like matter in the bigger picture Dow Jones there was an attempt of a bullish reversal on the weekly and now back to the bear warning colors which is orange daily falling similar kind of resistance area then with s p 500 is the price really heading lower not by much slightly red in the morning anyway iwm the chart looks already much more bearish weekly heading lower daily heading lower not kind of breaking down yet will it break down i don't know there's a support area right below so if that got catches the fall again like it kind of did here and here maybe the next bullish reversal will be glorious it's not here yet however iwo looking pretty similar to iwm weekly down daily down for now going to bitcoin now weekly momentum falling and daily momentum chopping at the low range of this well basically at this support area when that support breaks if it does that would create a head and shoulder pattern and then i would be looking for somewhere 22,000 24,000 range here would be the next top maybe support maybe not there would be the 200 day simple moving average quite likely support like it was here not always but quite often ethereum looking always pretty similar to the bitcoin i don't know why i'm even showing this here weekly down daily up for now well slightly different momentum readings but if you look at the chart it's pretty much copy paste bitcoin like they always are almost always energy sector monthly monthly falling it's the step line here weekly falling and daily falling the daily giving reversal signal to the upside however because the fall started here with the uh, trigger to go short if you took that probably took the profits already that's kind of clever and and soon would be a time to maybe go higher if the weekly turn lower now sticks the bounce up would probably stop somewhere at the moving averages and then we could get more downside do i know that will happen absolutely not i've got a short strangle here i would like it to move back towards the center point but i'm not i'm kind of like five bucks away from even being challenged so going fine for now financial sector let's see monthly down weekly down daily down the daily probably is, has still some more room to go lower from here because it just breached the zero level does it need to go lower it doesn't need to go lower kind of seeing all the bank news and stuff you would think that the banking sector the financial sector heads lower well if everybody thinks something maybe could be that it doesn't happen who knows basic materials weekly down daily down monthly up monthly now going back to orange will it head back lower i have no idea would i short, short it down here not necessarily the point to short it was up here 
when you got the reversal thing so I'm now looking for the next bull reversal and I don't, I'm not sure if I will be trading XLB to the upside but, res but not to the downside from there. Now an interesting chart we could just falling I mean heading maybe starting to head lower it's Wednesday not clear yet creating a top here on the weekly chart also on the daily chart of course a bull reversal here but if the bull is reversal is weak the next downward reversal would mean that we've got alignment on the daily and the weekly and that would be kind of a fresh situ fresh situation so i would probably be interested in taking that that's why red flag bear ids list for me xlu utilities weekly higher daily lower chop warning on both i'm not interested in touching that similar situation on xli if i remember correct weekly has been chopping a super long time that's the red lights here daily falling but is it really falling no it's not i'm not i'm not gonna touch xli it's not the kind of clear upswings downswings which is what i like to trade healthcare sector has been falling has the price been falling well a little bit but like three dollars is that a lot no not to me like two percent roughly give or take a few i don't know parts of percent the weekly is heading higher rather recent change so i'm looking for the next bull turn on the daily to see if this could kind of like get some speed and head higher from here if the daily doesn't completely crash down which it could do of course xly daily has been chopping here not interested in touching this before the situation kind of clear it clears itself out especially if it kind of crashes down then we would have alignments on the weekly and the daily that could be an interesting situation to trade xlp a different looking chart weekly move weekly turned higher a while back monthly now turning higher and the daily reversal lower has been like the weakest ever the momentum has been like mathematically speaking heading lower but the price actually been heading higher so the next time the mathematic momentum calculation gives green color if this still looks similar i would be very interested in going long xlp sector or a more aggressively moving stock within the sector xlre but that's not today by the way xlre real estate chop warning on the daily weekly monthly heading lower would i short this well maybe yes but i would like the chop thing to clear itself out before i do that because there are easier charts to trade we've already seen a few of them it's just not the time to do those exactly now maybe today maybe tomorrow maybe next week patience xlc weekly lower daily when it starts moving lower i'm gonna probably short this thing so adding it to my red list xbi biotechnology weekly uh, reversed higher last week monthly heading higher since a long time ago daily reversed so high that i am kind of not confident in taking this reversal i would like to dip a bit more and then give a solid bull reversal maybe somewhere closer to the zero line maybe below the zero line still in my bull watch list i don't kind of hard time to go along xbi with that sort of chart because i'm more i mean interested in buying the bottoms like this sort of thing rather than buying it here i, I don't know if it had really reversed up here, I wouldn't have dared to do it. Here, this bottom, much nicer to buy, even though it was short-lived. Would I buy this? Well, who knows? Maybe I could. Maybe adding that to my green ideas, maybe going to go through the XRT companies and look if, if it's worth doing or not. The weekly has been heading lower so long time that it could already make the next bull reversal as well, and the monthly heading higher now. Looking interesting, actually. XHB home builders. Uh, I've been taking shorts on this a few times and I've been kind of like having a hard time with them. The first one lost, the second one kind of managed to get myself out for a, I think it was like $5 profit or something because the price does not cooperate. So now it's in my bullish ideas because if it is behaving like this, it's like XLP trying to head lower but does not head lower. So the next bull reversal may be interesting to trade. SMH, semiconductors. What happens? What happens? Weekly heading lower. Is it really falling? Not really. It isn't. The daily heading higher here. I traded 
this move with NVIDIA and that worked out pretty fine. Kind of like hard time trusting this now here. I don't know why. Somehow just like it's a technology thing and Nasdaq is kind of giving those reverse lower warning things. XOP in my bearish ideas because monthly falling, weekly falling, daily still reversing higher. So short term trade, short term trade back up here and then reverse lower if you would like to trade that sort of stuff could be a nice idea. But I'm more looking for this just bump its head against the falling uh, moving averages and then go short. Clean energy, the last chart on the list. My week lower and daily lower. Would I short it down here? No. The time to short was up here. Would have worked perfectly. I did not do it. I hope you did because I've been calling this out on these videos since, I don't know, <laughs> since it was up here and I, for whatever reason, decided not to take it. It would have been a nice, easy trade, of course, but I missed it. Anyway, I hope this was somehow useful to you. If you want to have these tools, head over to reversalcatcher.com forward slash trial and take it out for a test run. Uh, $1 for 10 days, pretty affordable subscription also after that. If you do that, or if you don't do that, have a nice day, make a lot of money and see you around probably tomorrow. Bye.